So hello guys, welcome back. And in this video I want to talk about very important topic and that is parameterization of step definitions. Because when you look here, we have a step definition for when I submit login. But if you look here, we have hard coded the username and password. And that makes this uh, not reusable because you cannot use it with some different user credentials. So for example, you cannot test invalid login or you cannot use multiple users during your testing process. So this is not optional and with parameterization we can actually fix it. So let me show you. First, we will actually modify this feature. And I'm gonna comment this out. And <coughs> if you want to use a comment, you have to use uh, this sign. And then I'm gonna do when I fill username with and here I want to be make sure that this feature will uh, this uh, feature step will be able to use any parameter I'm gonna type here. So in our case it's username and I fill password with password. Again we want to do same so this password will be parameterized so you can pass any password here. And basically you have end and n is an alias instead of writing when two times. Of course you can do it, but it's common convention to use end because it actually makes more sense from English point of view. And I click on submit login. So this is it. We can actually delete this for now. And this is how our modified feature will look like. Now we need to go back and modify the steps. So here I'm gonna create one more when and let me copy the first one when I fill username with username and let's delete the username and here comes the trick if you want to add a parameter you can do it like this and since we are using string parameters, I'm going to pass it the value st uh, of string. So this means that whenever I pass something on this place in this uh, step definition, uh, it will be a string. It will basically take that value and I'm able to use that value inside my Cypress code. So let me show you. So in our case, it will be the username. And now I can do login page dot fill username with username and that username will be taken from here and if you look into the feature it's this value so in our case username so let's do the same for the password when I fill password with some value in this case again it will be a string but of course you can use uh, any regex or you can use int or whatever. But in our case we will using strings. So we want to grab that value. And we want to use login page that fill password. And you want to again fill it with a password which will be coming from this value. And the last step is to use uh, I click on submit login and there is no parameter so we can leave it just empty arrow function and I want to call login page dot submit so we can for now delete this function and we can also delete this comment and let's save it and let's try this out so now let's do npm run sci open and if i now run the test it should be working as previously and hopefully hopefully we don't do any typo
and as you can see the test is green so all checks passed and yeah that's pretty much it this is how you can parameterize your step definitions so whenever you want to use the same let's say step definition but use different uh, or dynamic content here just do it in this format remember you can use string ints numbers whatever then you want to grab that value as an argument and then you can pass it in any of your cypress code so i think that's it again i recommend you to try to use it on some more examples and i think we can close this video and we can move to the next topic